So far we have looked at the images of God in the Psalms. We looked at God is my shield, God is my rock, God is my shepherd. And today we will focus on the fourth image, God is my king. Psalm 5 verse 2 Give attention to the sound of my cry, my God and my King, for to you do I pray. To belong to the royal family means there is position, power, prosperity and prestige. When on January 8, 2020, Prince Harry and Behan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, announced that they were stepping down from their senior roles in the royal family, there were mixed reactions to his decision. Who would let go of these privileges? This would mean that they have to forego certain privileges and rights. In the Bible we read, there was another man who left the royal privileges to be available to obey the voice of God, to be a spokesperson for the Lord. And that is Moses. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. But he left for a different reason, because he knew that he is called by God, to be used by God, and also I think, I believe, he recognized and realized that he is sovereign, God is sovereign, he reigns. And here you find the psalmist calling God as my king. And when you call someone as king, my king, you are saying, I submit myself under his authority. I am a subject to his leadership, to his kingship. King means one who is sovereign, one who is a ruler, one who has authority, one who has got power, and one who has kingdom under his control. David too was a king. And so he knows what it is to be a king and to have a king. In calling God as my king, he is saying, I submit to your rule and authority. I owe allegiance to you totally. You are eternal. You are king of glory. You are mighty, mighty in battle. No force can stand against the Lord Jesus Christ. He invites all to sing praises to him. He is the only one who can bring salvation to the earth. He is great and exalted over all the nations. He is holy and he rules in righteousness and justice. And David confidently goes to him in prayer and says, Listen to my prayer. I wait expectantly. You being holy, you being king and my king, I know you will bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with shield. Friend, he can only be king in your life. Nothing short of that. You cannot call him king and not submit to his authority and his rule. You need to owe him the total allegiance and surrender. Once you own everything, there is nothing to fear. He is sovereign and his kingdom is eternal and he is sure to come again. And that is why in the Lord's Prayer we say, Lord, thy kingdom come. Are you part of this kingdom? I don't want you to be left out, even though you call him my God, my King. It can be a casual prayer. It could be just repetition of words. It could be calling him because the others called him. But even as you're listening, may I ask you, do you have that relationship with the king of this kingdom? Let the Lord enable you 
to give the total allegiance to the Lord, total surrender, submit to Him, and you too can call, My God, My King. God bless you. For feedbacks, please write to us to info at fibaonline.org or WhatsApp us to 9163642521640.